Hey everyone, this is Kevin from the Thrifting Lounge. In this video, we're going to discuss the unfortunate and untimely passing of one of the greatest basketball players of all time, Kobe Bryant, and what the state of his market's going to be for his memorabilia. And in the Thrifting Lounge group, I came across the post where someone posted about Kobe Bryant and how expensive his cards have gotten. Some of the cards were going for over $20,000 and some of his signed autographs were going well over $15,000 to $20,000. And so one of the commenters said, you know, what's the big deal? It's not like he's Babe Ruth or anything. There's two separate issues I'd like to discuss when it comes to the unfortunate passing of any celebrity's death, big or small. Of course, their market goes up even after the passing and well after their passing. With this market though, the sports memorabilia market, this is totally different though because Kobe just passed away about a year or two after his NBA. So with Kobe passing away, I myself, I was a huge Celtics fan. I remember in the NBA Finals, I think it was 2010 or 2011 when he beat us in game seven and a couple years prior to that, I was super happy because we beat him in the finals. But the one thing I'll always remember how tough of a player he was, no matter how much I may or not liked him as a basketball player, he was an amazing human being outside the courts. And th this one's kind of hard for, I think, everybody, even the sports world. With some celebrities who pass away, the market just skyrockets and stays that way. And I feel that's gonna be the same thing with Kobe Bryant. Somebody in my group mentioned, what's the big deal? He's not Babe Ruth. Well, we're talking about two different people. We're talking about somebody that passed away well after their time of playing baseball. We're talking about somebody that is arguably the greatest athlete of all time in the African-American world, besides Michael Jordan, of course. I mean, he was a huge figure. So today I did my own research and I actually sold a pair of my, my Kobe's today, which I already had listed up for two weeks. I sold those for full price, $84. I wasn't gonna raise it up on everybody like everybody else is doing right now with the, with the Kobe Bryant market. I felt like it was kind of wrong, but in a sense, I understand people are obviously trying to make a buck off of his death. I mean, he was an amazing human, great family man. And the way he passed away is just totally unfortunate. And, on the way to coach his daughter's basketball game and she passed away with him. I mean, that's huge. And it's not just a basketball story. So I wanna take some time to go over why I think his memorabilia is gonna stay up and, and totally stay skyrocketed and ballooned. I, I hope it does because he was an amazing athlete. Like I said, definitely top five athlete of all time in my book and I'm sure a lot of people's books and a way I think it's totally different from Babe Ruth is like I said before Babe Ruth passed away way past his time of playing baseball this is a guy that's out a year or two outside of his uh, and in his NBA career so we really have nothing else to go on that you can compare it to I don't think you can I, I mean I tried to think of it all day like who can we compare this to in the sports world I know a lot about sports I grew up around sports and I played three different sports in high school so Kobe was a huge part of my life as a competitor against the Celtics I mean of course we I couldn't stop being upset that he would beat us like 80% of the time but the camaraderie around him after he he lost the NBA Finals to the Celtics, was absolutely amazing. He took it like a man, and he came back and won two years later. But my thing is, is that why I think his memorabilia will stay is because another thing is he's a huge part of the African-American community. He's one of the biggest influences on the African-American culture. Uh, I mean, if you look at street style, the people that sell stuff on Depop, or you go on Instagram, you, you know, you type in street style, it's all stuff that you put him up there and he's on Mount Rushmore. Him and LeBron James right now. I mean, of course, Michael Jordan. But my thing is, is that he is totally different than everybody else that's passed away to this point. So that's why I think the market's gonna stay skyrocket. I think it's gonna be up there with Babe, Babe Ruth. I know people are gonna probably argue against it, but I think so, because the culture we live in now and for the many years down the road that's gonna come, it's no lie that he was amazing basketball player, amazing athlete, spoke multiple languages. Everything he did, he was amazing at. He was even an Academy Award winner, which is absolutely insane. My point is, is his stuff gonna be hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars? Eventually it's gonna come down a little bit, but I don't see it coming down too much. Maybe 15, 20, 25% max. Uh, if you want to collect the stuff or if you already have his stuff, I would even argue to say that I would hold off if you wanted. Year, two, three, four years down the road because the influence he had on everybody in the sports world was far-fetching. So this is why I want to make a quick video and get this out there because I figured like, hey, some people are getting misconstrued or they, everyone has a thought. Everyone thinks, hey, listen, it's going to come down. It's like the stock market. It's going to go up and then it's going to come back down. But with how the sports world works is that and this is totally, this is why I keep saying this is different than everyone else because Babe Ruth stuff just keeps going up, up. Lou Gehrig, Mickey Man, all of them because 
a lot of these collectors pay premium and they keep the stuff. It's the same thing I feel like it's gonna happen with Kobe Bryant. There's not much stuff out there. I was looking all day long. If you, Even the basketball cards, there's a lot out there, but when you go and you type in Kobe Bryant rookie cards, they're all going for a lot of money. They're up there with Jordan now since he passed away. So my thing is, is now that he's passed away, is his stuff gonna be worth more than Jordan? Only time will tell, I guess. But as of right now, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars for a rookie card, ten, fifteen thousand dollars for a signed basketball card that's not even a rookie. Yeah, those are really inflated, and eventually they will come down by a lot. But when it comes to jerseys, shoes, uh, his clothing line, I just don't see it coming down much. I really don't. So I'm not trying to tell you to go invest in it. Cause like right now I'm I'm just like, hey, I got the shoe. These shoes I've had for months I've been sitting on. For about two months I've sat on these things. I've had five watchers and lo and behold, about a couple hours ago I got a sale and it was from these shoes, the Kobe Bryant's. I mean, they're also in excellent condition, 85 bucks. And again, I'm not gonna be like everybody else. I'm not gonna, I knew I could jack the price up to 150, 140, 150, 160 but I'm not gonna do that. I just feel that it's disrespectful, but everyone needs to make their money, I guess. And right now, everyone's just chasing that buck. If you're buying his basketball cards and jerseys and shoes and memorabilia, I would love to know in the comments below if you plan on holding on to them or if you're gonna make a quick flip and sell them. I'm gonna put a sidebar here towards the end and just show you how much his stuff's going for right now. And again, in the comments, let me know what you think if his stuff's gonna Keep, Scott, keep going up or start going down. Again, it's only it happened a couple hours ago. It's an unfortunate event and stuff like this unfortunately does happen. And there is a lot of people out there just trying to make a quick buck. They're out there buying these up for a premium knowing that they're gonna buy them in, and in a few years or even right now turn around and reflip them and make 50, 60, sometimes over 100% on uh, what they paid for it. So lastly, you know, to answer that question, is Kobe Bryant's memorabilia gonna be worth more than Babe Ruth's? I don't think it ever will be as big as Babe Ruth. There's so, it's far and few between of what stuff is out there of Babe Ruth's and those go for a premium. I'm talking about millions and millions of dollars. As of right now, Kobe's stuff is just, it's getting close. It's $15,000, $20,000 as you can see over here for a rookie card. And some of them are autographed. And then his jerseys are going for hundred to four hundred dollars depending on what type of jersey they are and how old the jersey is but for the most part even if you go on and this is another thing i want to mention if you go on to footlocker.com or champsports.com or even dick sporting goods nike i saw it on there and even nba.com i think this is a little sleazy-ish but all of kobe Bryant's stuff right now is three hundred dollars plus all his jerseys three hundred dollars or more that is what they're going for retail. And they talk about how people do this, and now we have companies doing it. We have Nike doing it. We have Foot Locker doing it. We have NBA.com doing it. So, you know, it's a double-edged sword here. I think it's wrong of them to do this, but then again, it goes supply and demand, and it's unfortunate. So I hope you, you take a look at this stuff that's selling for a ridiculous amount of money. I know I'm not gonna be in on any of those. I am gonna pass. Not because the market's too sketchy, I just don't want to be part of it. So I also have another video coming out on Wednesday of the recent haul we did this weekend on Saturday. We went out, spent like $300, but we got a lot of good stuff, a lot of antiques. I got a sterling silver, really heavy, solid silver cigarette lighter. And then I got some vintage, rare cowboy boots that are worth a couple hundred bucks. So stay tuned on Wednesday. Again, it was a really bad thing that happened today. I've been upset about it. Off the court, I was a huge fan of him. He did a lot for the community, a lot for other people. So yeah, I just wanna know what your thoughts are and if you think that his memorabilia is gonna stay the same or go up more or your thoughts on everything that happened today.